Minivation. So Minivation is a is a uh, card game, it's a tableau building game. Um, the goal is to get six achievements. And you get them through various means. You can score them through collecting five point intervals. Uh, it all keys in on how you play the dogmas or how you play the cards out. <coughs> this is mostly an icon set collection type mecha mechanic. Um, so you start out by playing a card, whichever is closest to the beginning of the alphabet determines who goes first. So we'll throw C states out. Now, your goal is to have more of the icon than your opponent. If you do, you can play these demand cards, which force them to do things. If you do not have more icons than your opponent, then both of you can play and you don't get to play the demands, but then you'll get to draw a card of the current level, which is the number in the upper right hand corner. So now because we go first, because we're closest to the beginning of the alphabet, we get one action the first turn, they get two, and then it goes back and forth two actions apiece. So for my first action, I'm going to throw the wheel out, which gives me the ability to draw two cards from the one deck. You draw from the pile you're on until you run out of cards and you go to the next highest pile. So pottery and agriculture are great cards. So let's see if we can show what they do. So pottery will let you score a card and then draw another one. Agriculture will let you score the card and draw the next highest one. That was not what I wanted to do, but oh well. So what this does, by having six versus these three, if they play these cards, it would allow us to draw more. So what I want to do now is let's play the Pottery Dogma. We'll throw the clothing out, a card that gives us back clothing. So we'll do it again. Now this time, I'll play the clothing and I'll draw us a two. <coughs> so that's the nice part about pottery. It lets you return a card, score a card, and then get a card back. Whereas agriculture lets you score the next higher card. So there's a slight difference between the two. So we're going to run it again because currency right now can't really help me as much. We'll do it again. Uh, well, actually, no. You know what? Let's throw that up there. The reason we're going to throw that up there is construction has a has a characteristic to it that if you have the first, if you only want five cards on the board, you get to um, get achievement. But unfortunately, he played mathematics now, which stopped that. However, because we have more castles than they do, we can play the dogma here, which will allow them, force them to draw, to give us two cards. And then they get to draw a two. So we can use this to steal two cards from their hand. And we'll do it again. So basically what we're doing by pulling those two cards out is keeping them from using mathematics. Well, actually we're not, because they get to draw two. I'll take that back. <coughs> so innovation is one of my favorite games on here. It's it's challenging. Every card has a purpose, and depending on the situation, it could be incredible. So and when you get to the higher cards, it gets very unpredictable. So the goal here is not only to lay the cards out, but also to display them, which is the action that just took place here. This was triggered by this code of laws. You can tuck a card. and then, So melting a card, you play on top. Tucking a card, you play underneath. Displaying is when you spread them one way or the other. So while we can't tuck, what we can do is display. Is there anything though we really want to display? I don't see anything. Um, we can tell our icon counts. We still have a head, so let's force them to trade off two cards to us. Okay. Now, now currency has a little bit better application. Because what currency allows you to do is trade in these cards at different values and score them. So for every card you trade in of a different value, it gets a score card. But you start scoring at 2, whereas you can trade in at 1. And that's what we're going to do here. So we'll Now, because they have the same number of coins or more than me, they get to play 2. So All right, so now we'll return a 1, return a 2, and we'll return this 3. 
and we stop. Now it'll start giving me a two, and then a, it would give me twos, but now it went to threes. So now we can achieve. Now they have five points already, so we want to grab this achievement so they don't get it. We actually have ten, so that enables us to get two achievements. All right. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take a second achievement just to hold on to it. And then we'll do currency again. So let's do one, two, three. And we'll stop. So that gives us 20 points. So now we're up to, we can get the third achievement if we get in there. But we the only caveat is we have to get a three on the board. So, so we're going to have to draw a three out. Which we're capable of doing because there are no two cards left. So if we draw, it'll have to be a three. So let's draw a three. <coughs> Throw this up on the board. Now next turn, we'll be able to pull that achievement out. And then what we'll do is we'll play philosophy down so we can start splaying our cards. Because now we have three cards that can be splayed. So, so what we'll do here is philosophy lets you not only splay the cards, but it also lets you draw a card too. So what we'll do is we'll do a draw, draw, splay, score, draw, splay, score, draw, splay, score. So we get these three splayed out. Now when you, you can splay left, you can splay right, you can splay up. Splaying left exposes only a single icon. Splaying right will expose two icons. Splaying up will just expose all three icons on the bottom. You'll notice the icons are jumbled with these pictures. The picture is just a picture on each of the cards. It represents the card. But it's the icons we're interested in. So, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We'll draw a four. Um, that card's actually kind of handy. So let's um, draw a second four. We'll leave it go at that. So, Because I kind of want to hold on to this one and keep the majority of leaves because that protects us from vaccination so we want to keep an eye on that so what we'll do is we'll splay and what we're going to do is we're going to splay um, purple because we have the most of those and then we'll score perspective to give us four points we're going to do is we'll throw invention up there so that we can get that achievement next because we're already up to 24. <coughs> so grab that and then we'll use the machinery dogma to pull the six from his hand and trade with the four. Unfortunately, that gave him leaves, but that also gives us the jump. And apparently, he's not going to use it. So, if he's not going to use it, let's take it back. Oh, and that's a nice set of cards to have. Industrialization lets us draw cards for each red on each red building. We can draw a card and tuck it. Then we could splay red and purple to the right. So that's that's a good card to have. And let's see, we have three to their five. So when we play this up here, draw. That really didn't do well for us, but let's play them. See what happens. So it's five to f five to six. So let's play our red cards, All right?
Hmm. Okay. So what should we do next? Is there a reformation out there? We do industrialization, so let's play the cards again. really want to tuck. So, sitting behind, so mass media won't work right now. It's not going to be a sooner enough. So let's throw rocketry down. We'll use it. So now they could turn two cards of ours away, but we're not going to lose any points that we didn't already accumulate. And they have the five points for 25, so that's not going to help. But now we can return one of their eight. So kind of cut them back. play railroad and give us back the eight and the nine and the nine. So let's do that. So I'll do this. What is eight, eight and nine. That's good. And then what we'll do is we'll Let's play our purple cards up. So I think that's close yet. So I think what I'll do is try to blow up the game with Fission, which will force everything to be uh, erased and leave us where we're at, because I'm still achieve one achievement ahead. Specialization won't work. The card from all play boards. It's not going to help me as much. Yellow or green. So let's set us out there. There we go. Everything's gone. So that's the nuclear option. I've only ever played it once before, so we'll see what happens next. I'm not exactly sure what left behind, but now those fours and fives are going to become pretty powerful. Those tools. <coughs> So now the goal will be to get a good display, a good tableau out first. Excuse me. That will be a big help. Unfortunately, this card isn't as effective. It only gives me money because there are no twos and threes in play anymore. Enterprise puts him ahead of me on the coin, so uh, grabs the navigation card. So. so he's gonna steal a printing press, probably. Yep. Well, that's interesting. Anatomy. Anything he scores, I could pull out. <laughs> so that'd be an interesting. It's going to be interesting coming out of here. So I'll play Colonialism. Now, this should let me tuck some cards. 
because what I'll do is tuck the cards with coins on them. We skipped over most of the five piles, so he's not going to be able to pull my gunpowder out. Now he can. So this game is going to be a very interesting end to it. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen here. That surprised me. I wonder why he did that. Ah. Okay. Very interesting. So now if we do this. We'll force him to surrender. By doing that, that negates his chemistry ability because there's nothing in the score pile. Bioengineering would have been a good card to get at this point in time. That <laughs> could have led to an interesting choice because, of course, I have the. Uh, manager. He's going to have to get rid of Enterprise. And banking. Although globalization might. Good game. That was uh, quite an interesting game. I'm Andrew Megas. You're watching Online Gaming with Megas Man.